Rising winds herald the approach of the season's most unwelcome visitor to Miami on the Florida coast. Named Betsy, the first major hurricane of the season, chartered an erratic course after lashing the Bahamas. It headed south towards Cuba, veered to the Florida Keys, and then headed for the East Coast Resort area. As the wind mounts, hurried preparations go on. Modern tracking methods afford ample warning, but the actual onslaught of the raging winds always finds some residents unprepared. Betsy hit at high tide, and this pushed the ocean far inland. Some properties that escaped wind damage were flooded. Houses 12 blocks from the Atlantic had the sea in their basements. Despite the alert, many boat owners were unable to move their craft. Marine damage accounts for much of the hurricane loss. Betsy is an expansive girl, covering a front as wide as 600 miles. From the Keys to Fort Lauderdale and Miami Beach, winds reached a peak of 145 miles an hour. Building damage was less than in the past due to stiffer building codes. However, many older buildings could not stand up to the winds after flooding waters weakened the structures. Down power lines caused two deaths, and two others were attributed to the storm. Property damage, including crop losses, is high, and all sections hit by the storm have been declared disaster areas. This makes low-cost federal loans available for the job of rebuilding.